Hey, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. Good to see you today. Um, so I've had a number of people ask me recently, um, how do you maintain a positive attitude? Um, what do you do to always be seeming like you're so cheerful and happy and like nothing gets you down? Um, well, you guys saw me this last week. I was actually pretty down. Um, I was probably the most down I've been in a really long time because um, I don't usually get sick. So um, to be sick is is actually quite vulnerable, right? It's, um, it's quite an uncomfortable place to be. Um, so how do you maintain a positive attitude even when you're sick or if you've had some things not go your way, you fail a test or you know, you get in a fight with a friend or with your parents, you know, how do you, how does one maintain a positive attitude? Um, well, there are three things that I do uh, just in general to maintain a positive attitude that I wanted to share with you today. Um, the first thing that I do is that I always, always, always look for the lesson. I always look for the silver lining in the gray cloud of you know sadness or upsetness um, whenever I have it. What is the lesson that I'm meant to learn from this situation? If I can learn that lesson, if I can find something good in the situation that, um, that I'm in, um, it can immediately change my attitude and make me feel better. Because instead of thinking about all the negative things, I can start thinking about the positive things and the good things that happened. Um, another thing that I do um, is I, 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 it's sort of along the same lines, but I try to maintain a, um, an attitude of gratitude. So I am thinking all the time about what I'm grateful for, um, just in general, um, even when I'm not mad or upset at anything. I just like to think about, you know, what am I grateful for? And when I continue to think about the things that I'm grateful for, it actually creates a vibration in my body um, that sends out a message, not only to my body, but to everything around me, um, that, um, that I am grateful, that I have this attitude of gratitude. And it's a vibration that when we are talking about the law of attraction, which is like energy attracting like energy, um, that um, it will, you will start to attract the things that make you feel good, that you are grateful for. So um, you can just start to play with that and start to um, use gratitude as something that can truly, truly help you um, in life. Um, and what's another thing that I do? I just always look for the glass half full. I look for the lessons, attitude of gratitude. Um, and just in a, I just have an appreciation for what happens. And I also know that it's temporary, that whatever is happening is temporary and that it will go away and that I feel so good when I'm happy. And when I try to look for the lessons that allows me to find possibilities and opportunities because I'm not stressed out by, uh, the emotion of being upset or not happy, which makes me constricted and makes my energy really um, smaller and more focused on the things that are right in front of me. And I can't look outside of myself and see other opportunities because I'm too blinded by anger or frustration. So when you have this sort of uh, looking for the bright side, an attitude of gratitude, always looking for the lessons, it just becomes your normal. It becomes just a way of being and life tends to bring you things that make you happier and, and are more positive for you um, just in general in everyday life. Um, so that is, you know, just one of the ways or a few of the ways that I... Um, Kind of take life in stride and I try to flip the energy from feeling grumpy or upset or bummed out or weighted down um, to feeling grateful for whatever it is that is coming my way and that's how I do it. So oh and the other thing I was going to say I, I 
almost forgot, is I pay really close attention to what I'm filling my brain with, what I'm eating, not just what I'm eating you know, with my mouth, food, but also what am I eating with my listening, with my watching, um, and with my consuming? What am I putting in my brain? Because what I put in my brain, the quality of what I put in my brain, in my body, will determine my thoughts. And so if I'm putting junk in my brain and bad mood and bad thoughts, um, those thoughts will create a, a vibration inside my body that's going to make me feel unhappy. And so, um, so, that, so those are all ways in which I um, help myself to maintain a positive attitude, to control the inputs, the things that I put in my body, and, um, and to always try to look at things um, and look for the lessons, look for the bright side, um, and look for the opportunities and just be grateful. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I wish you um, the best of luck in trying this. This is a, this is a practice. It's a muscle that you have to um, practice and work on and try to maintain. So just keep doing it. Don't beat yourself up over it when you don't do it you know, perfectly. Just keep trying. Um, and, you know, your attitude is everything. It's really the number one most important thing in life. So let's make sure that we have our attitude on straight and that we know how to kind of fix it or we know where to look if it's not, if we're not thinking the right thoughts that are, you know, that are elevating us and making us happy. Okay. I see you. I hear you. I'm here for you and I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.